How's it going, Pokemon Pit? My name is Dude 1991, bringing you an OU kind of match. I'm using OU Pokemon, but they're all in a choice style of format. They're all choice banded, meaning I can't really deal with a structured team very much. So I just told him, don't bring one because it's going to be lopsided if you do. Because yeah, this team can't deal with it. But you know what this team can do? It can definitely miss Focus Blast pretty well. <laughs> because, oh, winning a can, you always. You always fail it for me. You always miss the Focus Blast. And again, I suppose that can be said with uh, with anything that uses Focus Blast. Like, can you can anyone name any YouTuber that legitimately has good luck with Focus Blast? Because I have never heard of it before. However, he uses U-Turn, which means that he switches and he goes out to Umbreon, which is honestly just fine because since I died, I'm able to get switch advantage, and be able to bring in Piccolo, motherfucker, gonna dynamic punch, yo dumbass. So he switches out, obviously fearing the obvious fighting move, and he goes up to Verizion, which obviously takes a choice banded dynamic punch to the grill, actually that's more to the midsection region, but I was not expecting this to kill. Um, Verizion, I know Verizion is really naturally bulky, but I didn't think its defenses were that garbage, like... Or maybe just Piccolo, is that fucking awesome? Anyway, he goes up to Star Raptor. I obviously do not want to take a Brave Bird because Piccolo, um, I remember his team probably will deal with his team the best out of any of my Pokemon. So I switch out to Lancelot as Death Fodder. Best name I've ever come up with ever. Too bad that he only makes a short appearance as he takes a Brave Bird to the face and dies. Ah, Lancelot, you're supposed to be in a Trick Room team. I don't know why I put you on that team. Ah, oh, wasn't very intelligent. Anyway, I go out to Azumarill to try and scare him off with an Aqua Jet, but he predicts me to use Waterfall, predicting him to switch. I think. <laughs> I don't know, I've accidentally made some pretty good moves once before, like... I wanted to sta sack something, but I stayed in, and then he overpredicted, predicting a switch, so he stayed in and murdered me, which is what he just did. So I lose a zoom arrow for absolutely zero reason. Now I go out to Volcarota, and he switches. I'm not actually sure why, because he brings in this Rotom. And, um, yeah, Rotom, you know, it's water type. It takes fire attacks pretty well. I am spec, so this is boosted. And he takes about half from that flamethrower. I was just like, Welp, um, okay. <laughs> then he misses Hydro Pump, and I'm able to uh, kill him off with flamethrower. So I suppose you can say that makes up for the Focus Blast miss earlier. Possibly. Maybe. If you're generous. I don't know. <laughs> it's all hacks. We have no control over it, so we should try our best not to uh, either complain. Well, okay, we're always going to complain about hacks, even, you know... <laughs> Uh, we're just always going to complain about hacks. Whether it's there, whether it's not, we're always going to complain about it. That doesn't make much sense, but I don't care. Regardless, Garugamash dies, which is kind of unfortunate, but so does his Star Raptor, so it's all like, yay! Biggest threat to my team is gone, out of sheer recoil. I don't think I hit that Star Raptor once. And I got to fucking Haterade, because Haterade is an absolute boss. Anyway, I think right here, he was banking on my Haterade being adamant, because I'm pretty sure uh, Timid Curum and Outspeed's adamant Haterade. Unfortunately for him, I am indeed Jolly, which means I Outspeed, and I'm able to kill off his Kyotum. Either that or it was a speed tie. I can't actually remember the whole calculation that uh, went on there. But regardless, Haterade was able to Outspeed and fucking murder him with the intensity of 8,597 suns. Yes, Haterade is so fucking powerful, he's been to so many different solar systems, collected the powers of so many goddamn suns. Like, look at him, he's just amazing. Anyway, Outrage is a cum ton, and he uses Payback, and uh, I was expecting Payback to do, you know, like 100, 150, but it does, yeah, and I was like, oh, your life, or... Umbreon. Oh, well, it's better than Sticky Barb Umbreon. Chase <laughs> I see water. But, um, yeah, he, uh, he dies to an outrage, because the Haterade is too much of a goddamn boss. Like, honestly, if, it, if no one here has, is, if anyone is here has not tried Choice Bandit Haxorus, definitely give it a shot. Jolly, Jolly, Max Attack, Max Speed, friggin' Outrage, 
Earthquake, Dragon Claw, and friggin' Brick Break. It is an amazing set. Don't think I've ever used Brick Break on it once before. I suppose it's just because if you're uh, caught against a Skarmory and can't hit it with anything else. But anyway, I go out to Piccolo because he's my last and he's his last. He uses close combat. My health is going. It's going down. It's going down. It's going down. Will I survive? Of course I'll survive because it's fucking Piccolo, motherfucker. Must up. Punch your dumb ass. And uh, I use Dynamic Punch on his Infernape. That's obviously going to kill after a minus two defense and Choice Banded and, you know, Machamp. But yes, that is the game. Thank you for watching. And if you liked it, please check out my channel. It will be in the description. And thanks a lot, guys. See you laters.